हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज विश्वनाथ सो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ यू विल प्रिपेयर फॉर गूगल क्लाउड डेवोप्स इंजीनियर एग्जाम सो लेट्स हैव ए लुक स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड ओके और राइट सो नाउ आई हैव रिटर्न वन मीडियम आर्टिकल देन विच आई हैव मैंसन ऑल द स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल द डिटेल्स ओके सो वाट यू विल डू बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट यूर प्रिपेरेशन वाट यू विल डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल गो थ्रू द ओवर व्यू ऑफ डेवोस इंजीनियर वट इज ऑल अबाउट एंड वट इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ दिस कोर्स and what is the benefit of this course why i should uh, prepare for this exam all this thing you have to rnd on it then if it will be suitable for you then you will start preparation for your specialization so basically once you overview uh, completed like what is the rule and responsibility of the gcp devops engineer if you are into that then i would recommend this certification will be better for you okay and what the topic will cover for the professional cloud devops engineer exam so i'll explain right so first apply site reliability engineering principle to a service then optimize the service performance implement service monitoring and strategy build and implement ci cd pipeline for a service this is the important of this devops stack and manage the service incident these are the important point which you will have to prepare thoroughly okay so after that what we will do the key point of devops exam preparation i have mentioned all these key technical points let me tell you first the document issue in a post mortem this is a very important topic you will prepare thoroughly then document root cause okay create and prioritize action item communicate post mortem to stakeholder what's the issue what's the timeline to fix all these thing you will communicate with the stakeholder along with your sla SLO, SLI, service level agreement, service level objective, service level indicator. All these thing you have to focus on whenever you are going to create a post mortem report for your stakeholder. Then move on to the error budget. This is the important topic. So if you will prepare likewise, so definitely it will be easy for you to clear the exam. toil via automation culture of blamelessness artifact registry cloud built and spinnaker deployment to hybrid and multi cloud environment with anthos spinnaker and kubernetes you practice with this one as much as possible ci cd pipeline trigger with cloud source repository external scm and pub shop ci with cloud build cd with cloud build open source tools example jenkins spinnaker gitlab github what not a uh, many version control auditing and tracing of deployment csr artifact registry cloud build cloud audit logs all these the technical points you have to prepare thoroughly terraform why terraform right infrastructure as a code is required to build the cloud platform then local development environment with docker cloud code staffold secure the development pipeline how will secure the development pipeline that you have to practice and go through the detail step by steps and explore more on that then question if the question will come then you can able to uh, give the answer right now move on to the next steps uh vulnerability analysis with artifact registry you have to study more on that binary authorization this is the security part identity access management policy per environment then logs log 
is the most important part to encounter the error if something goes wrong in, the, in your environment so all these point i have uh, mentioned over here like uh, collecting logs from compute engine gk with cloud logging uh, so how will you install the agent uh, uh, on your compute engine or uh, gk then how you can easily uh, calculate or uh, how you can easily uh, troubleshoot or encounter the error from the uh, system level right and uh, enable the vpc flow logs the network level logs and the firewall level logs and the system level logs and the database log any uh, possibility which is available in google cloud platform so you have to uh, check then uh, all this uh, point uh, you will go through the details right then a uh, debug application code how will debug uh, there are couple of tools is available like cloud debugger cloud trash all these uh, uh, cloud profiler error reporting all these uh, google cloud uh, helping tool which will help to uh, track and debug the error right so you have to go through the details then investigate the uh, incident symptoms impacting the users right and uh, the identity uh, probably uh, the cause of the service failure evaluate symptoms against the probable cause the rank probability of cause based on the observed behavior then investigation to isolate most likely actual cause identify the alternative to mitigate the issue uh, mitigate issue impact on users all this point why i am telling this is the point which will be covered in the exam and this is very top exam and google cloud uh, exam a uh, rule back release drain and redirect traffic turn off experiment add capacity all this key technical word which i mentioned you can able to find out the answer in this particular technical word let me tell you to be honest a uh, review issue with deployment like cloud bill and jenkins code change fix bug uh, verify the fix declare all clear all these thing you have to go through and prepare very well then uh, first review the exam guide and then based on that some key technical point which i have mentioned in the above uh, so that you will lastly will cover then step 2 like complete google cloud devops engineer uh, the official uh, learning path you have to complete all quest lab course all these thing you will complete right so once complete then list of question list of quest to complete uh, once done then some couple of architecture diagram which i have uh, provided here like uh, the sample architecture for your reference how the ci cd works and in the devops in cloud approach uh, for a few example uh, for example you are uh, you are setting up your ci cd through the compute engine how how it would be looks like your ci uh, architecture and the uh, high productivity dev and uh, delivery with cloud run uh, serverless product how will uh, create architecture so this is the like a uh, high level architecture like how we'll write the code then build the code uh, okay so test the code uh, scan the code deploy the code in the cloud run or gk so this is the high level uh, the workflow on the stages to build a uh, continuous integration and continuous deployment but these are the all steps involved code uh, then deploy build the code then test the code scan the code then deploy the code into your target machine so these are the high level things now uh, this is one of the uh, high level like how you can secure your environment uh, binary authentication uh, authorization and how automatic scan will happen uh, so binary authorization will apply continuously scanning all these process will uh, follow this is the high level architecture diagram and uh, this is the last one but not least like uh, first will uh, discover then prioritize access report then remediate then verify then build it package it uh, repository uh, like a cloud uh, artifact repository 
then you will distribute your target environment so this is the high level architecture based on your uh, requirement you can customize the ci cd pipeline and some of the additional resource which is available like uh, google cloud documentation google cloud solution list of devops engineer exam preparation source link customized by satish vj and exam preparation tips and techniques prepared by satish vj all these things and github uh, repo uh, uh, it is created by uh, priyanka begedia ma'am so it was super helpful for me so if you follow uh, it will definitely will help you and the last minute preparation sheet which has been um, uh, which is prepared by emmet uh, williams so uh, the preparation notes that link which i have mentioned here so I'll definitely will go through that uh, before going to sit your exam so this is all about if you will uh, step by step guide will follow so definitely you will uh, clear the exam uh, prepare the exam and you follow the process in the last moment uh, once everything is done let's go ahead and uh, book your exam slot uh, based on your time uh, suitable time and all the best thank you thank you for watching my youtube channel thank you bye bye